Hello YouTube. This is a simple little thing that I made. I got the idea from watching Mr. Pete, a little forming tool. This is only like 364 thick. This is a piece of circular saw blade. Added a piece of bit down here. Let me turn this down. That's one of my bad habits. My scanner is going. We added this piece down here. No time to add it. Let's go for it. Added this down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Take two. Okay. Okay, I have some pictures taken when I made this. I had to keep coming around here to make those. This is half inch. This turned out to be 35 thousandths smaller. I'm just guessing with cheap micrometer. But, it still makes a good enough ball. That's as close as shots we're going to get. We try to zoom in. It might not be the greatest. It's not perfectly round. Quit looking through the viewfinder. Got to have a look through the back of the camera, but oh well, think fun, I don't want to do it. It's not perfectly round, especially here as it comes over, but it's good enough for what I want to use it for. It has to be polished yet. Uh, I'm out of 400 grit wet dry paper. I use the wet dry sandpaper to polish metals and brass. And it depends on how much oil is on it. Even though I use no oil, it's still going to get gummy. But let's see if we get a close up of this tool. I got everything loose, so I can slide this. This is beveled back. It's filed with a file like this because it started out. I had a little template made out of paper. This is about an eighth of an inch wide over here. You're only cutting here because you're not cutting any in there. This is where it cuts in. See where I have the angle. This way it makes like a point. And it takes a little while in this little lathe. This will flex. It still will flex going down there. We'll get it right. Look through the viewfinder. You can do it. Kind of like looking through the microscope trying to do something. Anyway, you get the idea. I'll take a picture of what this looks like underneath so you can see that little point and everything. It's just an idea. Uh, I may order some of that uh, oh I can't think of it. After you're done making it you quench it in water then you temper it again. It's like if you use drill stock. It's that type of metal. Uh, water hardening. There you go. We're just an amateur. can see a little gap in there. Enough of this video. My light's changing. Let's back out here. This camera's always done that. Good enough for what I want to do it with. I can make a little plug. You can make a homemade cannon on a bag lathe or something and say you want a little plug. Say you want to make a little decorative plug for something. Uh, the thing is, unless I had a steady rest, I'm not going to be able to make anything real long. This is only like two inches long. It's stuck in here about an inch. That'd be about to an inch right here. So, <clears throat> you're not going to make nothing too long on this little lathe. But, for arts and crafts and stuff, pretty good. We'll spin it here. You can see it. Okay, long enough. We're out of here. We'll snap another picture of what this thing looks like. It's brave. It's nasty looking. But, it's just an experiment. So, thanks for watching.